Shalom. I am super excited to review the January Hand Tide from John Renault's um, new expansion, the Favourites Collection. Uh, and if you're not aware, the Favourites Collection is expanding on a number of their most popular styles, um, offering hand tied caps, petite caps, larger caps. Uh, they have toppers with waves, so it's a really lovely addition to their already existing offering. And I am looking at the January hand tied in the color 32F. Now 32F is also known as cherry cream. Um, and I also, as a little addition to looking at the January hand tied, I'm um, going to show you a couple of other colours in the John Renault range that fall under their kind of copper reds because um, I've been super into my reds at the moment. So if I just start by walking you around the colour of the January in the cap and then I'm going to show you some other colours as well before I pop her on. So I don't believe I've even unboxed her yet so excuse the crunching and the crungling and the noise. Now, January, for those of you who don't know, it's like a really kooky, super popular, wavy, short bob, um, which seems to suit a number of people, <laughs> lots of people, and everyone absolutely loves her in the wefted cap, so to release her, to launch her in a hand tie cap, for me, super exciting because I don't get on with the wefted caps because they're a bit small, a bit large on me, for John Renault, whereas the hand tied in their average are better. Um, so it gives you that extra movement um, and it just makes what that wonderful style even, even better. Now, oh, here she is. So as you can see, this 32F Cherry Cream, that's straight out of the box, so that, so the 32F, it's got these kind of blonder, coppery, strawberry blonde highlights throughout. And then this super red, this 32 here. Look at that super red, I'll call it. How lovely is that? And so you can see that length sitting just on the chin. So curls haven't been brushed out, nothing's happened here. So this is how she will come out. I often find, and it's something to note, that even across the same style of curls, so Rachel, Miller, Heidi, Julianne, um, they do have different wave patterns, but even across the same style, sometimes I find, Miller is an example I found, that the curl was tighter, slightly different, um, but as you kind of comb through with your fingers or, or with a wide tooth comb, it does find its way. So it's really interesting every time I get a curly one out, just to see how heavy and tight those curls are. Sarah's another one, those super, super, super curls that sometimes you love being really curly, then you have to tame her. Um, I'm just digressing here. Right, so what do we have? January, hand tie cap, and I'm so super happy to see that they have continued to keep January with that extended lace front into the ears, which we love which just gives us that extra versatility for pulling her back off your face rather than ending at the temple. It's just a teeny bit extra there. So she is an extended lace front. If you don't know, extended lace front on January. Right, what do we have then? We have that beautiful extended nape. I need an extended nape. I, Cameron doesn't have an extended nape and I love Cameron, but because she doesn't have that extended nape, I find her traveling up a little bit and I'm always pulling her back and then there's not enough space for me to put a PU tab to put some tape on so I always look out for an extended nape so that's great and that just helps her sit in your nape much more comfortably. The Velcro adjusters we know and love that give you a little bit of extra maneuverage for tightening around that circumference. Maneuverage? Um, <laughs> We oh, yeah, have the velvet ear tabs with the metal stays again, a fully hand tied cap, wonderful. Our single monofilament with that little PU bit there and that welded lace, so that slightly stiffer, coarser lace. Now, 
A little aside here, notice that grid pattern there. You'll find this on there like F colours or fashion colours, fashion syrup colours. That's the way, like the pattern in which they knot the highlights and the darker tones, the highlights and the darker tones. Um, I'm only telling you just out of observation. Okay, so that full monofilament top, which means that you get that ability to part her in all directions within that area. That lace front means that you'll have a much more, um, uh, you can wear off the face, yeah, so, so that realistic look and that softer edge. Now in terms of this colour again, um, there's no root, she's not a rooted colour, so you can see those highlights, as I showed you on the inside, those highlights are uniform there, but they are quite soft. Uh, they're not thick, uh, they're not bold, blocky highlights, they're quite fine in places, and they are just a really lovely blend there. Um, by comparison, a, a, a nice comparison is the shaded peach. I've got her here in Rachel. Now the code for shaded peach is 30A27S4. So you can see there's a 30 there. This is a 32, so that 30, when you get into the 30s, you're indicating reds. A27 is more of those blonder tones and the S4 is the fact that it's got a four root, a dark root. So I'm gonna hold these up together. So you can see, We've got shaded peach here and um, cherry cream here. Sorry, the light wants to pick up. Come on, stop it. There we go, that's better. So you can see that this is much more copper, the shaded peach, but still those blonder tones. And this has got a similar vibe with those blonder tones, but it's red, much more red. Can you see in that back there? It's better to do it that way. I didn't like it when they were both together. Can you see that? Shaded peach is a really beautiful colour. So if you're looking for a, like a ginger copper um, with a little bit of um, blonde highlights throughout, shaded peach, and it has a root as well for those of you that love a root. Um, and then again, by com further comparison, so let me just put her down. We have... Uh, a 13031 which is really super red and also known also known as cherry cobbler which you'll find it's more of this bold you can see the bolder red in there but this is just more of that purer red um, very very fine blend of two red tones but they're very close together yeah those tones so you're getting a real kind of true um, bright auburn red um, it can look, you see, in the bright, bright light, you can see those. In the shade, it can take on a much more deeper auburn tone. So again, it's got that red there, but it's more of a solid, stop it light, solid colour. Doesn't like it when I play around, is it, the light? Okay, so I'm going to pop on um, January. And I might pick up these again if we're looking at colour comparison. But I thought it was nice to see those three colours together because I know lots of people look for reds in the different tones. And reds, you know, it's a complex. Like the, all the different blondes, the gold blondes, the ashy blondes. There's so many different tones and different terminology within colours. It's always nice to um, show as much as we can within those kind of colour families, as it were. So... We're talking about the red family at the minute. Right, I'm gonna go and pop her up. Okay, so here she is. As you can see, she's sitting. If I pull those down, she will touch my shoulders, but she's definitely not sitting on my shoulders. She has that bounce, so she's sitting, I would say, just below my chin. You have a little closer look at that color. It's super, isn't it? I really like the blend of this darker tone with that uh, brighter strawberry blonde I would say it is a bold color it's certainly um, you know a real red head red um, I'm just having a play I find that January and takes me a little bit of time to like play around and move her run my fingers through the curls to get her to sit right because 
anything that's curly in a, in a, in a short bob tends to want to feel a little bit much in, in this area. So every, most wigs, synthetic, they will settle into, um, I can't fit, there's a teeny bit, is there permatease? I might have to take her off and have a close look, but there's definitely volume there at that crown, so it's knotted in a way to do that. And that's the style, isn't it? To have this kind of curly movement here. It is a really cute style. I'm not sure I suit this length. I don't know if I have the face for it, but you can see all the way around. So if I just go through the lengths, you can uh, get more of an idea of what you're dealing with then. So we have 8.25 here, so it does sit there. The crown is 10, so that sits right at the end there, so there's no kind of layering up the back there, it's not like a graduated style. The sides 6.25 and the nape 4.25. I can spin to the side, you can see that. If I can spin around here, you can see where she sits there. Yeah. So, super cute bob. Fit wise, um, it's the Jomino hand tied, sits nicely here on my ear tabs. I can tuck her behind my ear. It's sitting, yeah, as far as I can get away with there. We've got that temple to temple lace front, which means when you get close, you can actually like pin her a little bit further back than it, sorry, not temple to temple, extended into the ear tabs there. If it was temple to temple, it would be there. So you get that little nice little addition there so you can style her off the face just a bit more, a little bit more. Um, scope for styling and the knots here because we've got not a root in and we're dealing with lighter tones we've got a much softer hairline there so even with some plucking if need be and some baby hairs it, it is a really lovely kind of um, close realism um, in that cap. These caps are always super comfortable. We've, I've talked to you in, in previous, um, when I talk about the Monotop collection, this is, it's a little bit coarser, the, the Monotop and the lace front area. I don't find it irritating too much. Sometimes you can get irritation from this lace. So, but as with all welded lace, they all feel the same um, so from brand to brand. Um, yeah, let me have a look at these other colours. So I've got the 130-31. You can see very similar feel, but this is more of that solid red, which I love. I do love this colour. I do enjoy the red head. Um, and then the shaded peach. And then let's do them all together and see what we got. A trio of red. 